Christmas to you and your family and your family's family and your family's friends of your family. Santa, I want to thank you so much for being here. This is such an honor. I mean, to have Santa in our studio. This is a brand new studio for us, so I'm so excited to have you here. Um, you are pretty much the biggest CEO in the world. I mean, you're you're the guy. So um, thanks again for being here. It's a very busy time, but I'm very excited to be here with you, Brian. Thank you for making time for me. So. Santa, what what should I actually call you? I mean, you you go by all kinds of names. What's your what's the name I should use here? You know, my friends call me Red, but I prefer for you to call me Chris. Santa, I can't believe that you actually replied back on Twitter. Uh, that's that's amazing. You yeah, my hats off to you for being one of the most social people on on the social Santa. You know, it was great. Um, I'm curious, how do you use technology, especially up north, and to deliver all those packages around the world, how do you use technology? So the reason I'm here is to let you know that we're trying something new this year. We're going to be using predictive analytics. We're going to be curating content, and we're going to be looking at everything across the world to know what you want ahead of time. And I might drop them off just a little early this year, so I'm not so stressed out. Ho, 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 ho. So how do you use technology now in, in your business and what you do? Well, we use this thing called heat mapping. And we look at all the tweets and where they're compiled around the world. And I, I really can't talk about it because we have a piece of software that's now in beta. And it's really cool. It's using a combination of social listening, heat maps, and engagement. You know, it's really interesting to me that we actually connected on Twitter. It's exciting to me that you're a real social person, a social Santa, if you will. Um, how have you seen social media and technology change throughout the years? You know, it's made my job a lot harder, to be honest. There's so much information. There's so many people out there sharing all this great stuff, and I don't have time to respond. So that's why I'm here with you, Brian. I want to let the world know I am reading all your tweets. I see all your Instagrams, and I love all your Pinterest posts. There are plenty of people out there that would love to be Santa Claus. What piece of advice would you give to somebody if they wanted to be Santa Claus. It's not easy to be Santa Claus. How do you make it so that nobody can see you? I have this technology. It's called Mind Erase. And what you don't realize, Brian, is that you have actually seen me. I remember on Christmas Eve when you snuck downstairs and you turned on the lights and there I was. And my elves come out and they realize and we go into mode 6296. And that's when they come out with the mind erase and they blast you. You don't remember any of it. I know that. So you go back upstairs because we tell you to. And the next morning, it's like I was never there. Wow. Except for the presents. Ho, 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 ho. You know, I want to ask you a personal question. What do you like to do when you're not invested in Christmas? What do you do in your off season? Well, I like to surf. Surfing is a lot of fun. It allows me to get down to my real self and find out who I really am in here. I also like to spend some time with the missus. She doesn't get a lot of time with me in the winter as you can imagine. So we like to go on a little getaway. I also appreciate just getting to relax and sleep. And don't forget, I like to eat. You know, Christmas is important. Not gonna say it's it's not important. It's, it's a worldwide holiday. 
I mean, I love it. Everyone loves it. What other holidays do you like? What's your favorite holiday? You know, my favorite holiday is actually Hanukkah. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it lasts eight nights. And, you know, the Hanukkah fairy and I, we're pretty good friends. Um, but then again, I might like Thanksgiving. I get to eat a lot. Ho, 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 ho. Um, you know, there's a debate right now on which phone people use. What's your, what's your phone of choice? How do you stay communicated with people? Oh, well, that's easy. I like my iPhone 6 Plus because it delivers everything that I need in one phone. Sorry, Android users. I'm not. You know, I'm a techie. I love gadgets. And um, I always wonder, how did, what, what are the biggest requests you're receiving? This year, what are the biggest toys or the biggest presents? Um, what kind of trends are you seeing here for what uh, what's coming? Well, I've been asked for some gifts I can't give, and that happens every year because that's not what the predictive analytics tell me. Is there any parting thoughts? Anything that I didn't ask you that you wanted to to talk to us about here today? You know, Brian, I just wanted to say that. There's a lot of good things happening right now. I am really excited for Pure Matter and all of their clients, and I want to wish them a very Merry Christmas. And please excuse me, I'm receiving a phone call from up north. They need me. Hello, this is Santa Claus. May I help you? Oh, sure, I'll be right there. I understand. We're having a problem with the mind erase machine. I have to leave now, but thank you, Brian, for having me. I really appreciate it. And to all of you out there, have a happy and merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you, everybody. Dance my way to the north. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Anna. Take care. I love you, man. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. I always like that song today, but I'm Jewish inside. Hey!